Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me ask a question. What do you get when you take a movie that's ass and you make it into a game? You get a piece of shit. Now, if you get a piece of ass, that's a good thing, but if you get a piece of shit, you don't want that. And this, of course, is Independence Day for the PlayStation. I don't even want to talk about this. It's making me sick. It's making me sick! The first thing that sucks is just, well, look at it. How many times have you played a game where you're flying around shooting at things? It's okay, but that's the problem. It's so okay that it's not even worth existing. It's so bland and mediocre that it's hard to even come up with legitimate complaints. But don't worry, we're gonna rip into it. This is the first stage, Grand Canyon. The object is to take out four main generators on this alien spaceship. And if you forget, this annoying voice keeps reminding you. I got a generator for that there's one right here, shoot, 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 fuck. It usually takes a few passes to destroy it. You think that you can just turn around and hit some more, but no, it just disappears. You're never able to spot it from a distance and use enough of your firepower to take it out because the damn things just pop up when you're too close to be ready. I think it's a graphic flaw. Nothing appears until it's right up in your fucking face. What the ass is that all about? To describe this game's assness, all I can say is it's very ass. Where's those fucking generators? Look, I'm going around 360 and I can't find them. Where are they, goddammit? Oh, there's one. Fuck. I wish that voice would just shut the hell up. It keeps telling you to take out the generators as if I'm not fucking trying. The radar doesn't do jiggly stuff. It's too small, makes no fucking sense, and I don't like it. Trying to hit anything with bullets is impossible. Only the missiles seem to be effective. The control sucks monkey balls. If you go anywhere near the ground, you're gonna hit. Alright, so I'm gonna get this power up down here. Or would I just fly over it? Okay, we're gonna get this next one, wherever it is. Oh, you motherfucker! You can't fuck around too much with this game because there's a time limit. And when the time's up, the alien ship just blows up everything. If you make your goals, you get to attack the ship and then you advance to the next level. Then we got Washington, D.C., which looks like shit. Your object here is to defend the E3. What's the E3? Where is it? How do I defend it? I don't know, so fuck it. Wanna see more of the game? Let's use a password. Ugh. Ugh, God. Ugh, why is it so slow? Why is it so ass? Alright, so not the name of the stages, but you got Las Vegas, Moscow, New York City, Paris, and the mothership. All I can say is, they all suck, and it's all just the same. The worst thing about this is that it makes me feel really guilty to be playing it. Like, I should be doing something better with my time. Like, rolling dog turns in cement. Like, I gotta get away from this game. I gotta get out of this room. I gotta, I gotta go out somewhere and do something wild. Like, get a tattoo on my face of a goat holding up a baby snorting cocaine off his penis. You know, I play a lot of shit in my day, but this game is fuck. The lack of music, the droning effect it has, it reminds me of something very similar. Something from the past. Top Gun on the NES. While I hated it and it drove me insane, I would rather play this than Independence Day. In fact, just thinking about it is like a breath of fresh air. Makes me feel like a shitty log coming out of a buffalo's ass and landing in a bowl of M&M's. This was a game based off a crappy 80s movie. But here, we got a game based off a crappy 90s movie. Top Gun may be a piece of shit, but at least has a nostalgia factor to it. It's a piece of shit I might have some affection for. Video games have come a long way, and this one happens to be middle of the road. PlayStation, a lot of people feel, was the last of the classic game consoles. Personally, I think it was all over after Super Nintendo. Now, as always, I don't care if you agree with my opinions on games, but what I do care, you enjoy the video, you have a great 4th of July, drink some beers, but be safe, and most important, celebrate your independence not to play shitty fucking games.